since I made a video about the last experience I had, I'm going to do a video about this one because I feel like this one's going to be super awesome and great. I'm so excited because I like when things go right. So the first video I did, I ordered the Jillian C. Wilde's Antiquities of Magic Oracle, which I was really excited about. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I saw the videos and I was like, oh, I need to have these cards. I ordered on, and unfortunately, if you didn't see the video, um, not unfortunately, but if you didn't see the video, unfortunately, what I got was scammed. And I got a damaged book, no box, and some random tarot deck of whatever it was. Um, so I had posted the video, and um, Jillian C. Wild ended up hearing about the video, watched the video, and then she emailed me. And I emailed, um, and then I didn't realize she'd emailed me. I guess it went to my spam or something. And then I got a notification um, on my um, YouTube that she went on my YouTube to say, hey, I've been trying to get a hold of you through email. And I went and looked. I'm like, oh, my God, Jillian C. Wild totally did email me. So she was like, what happened? So we walked through and figured out what it was, and it was a third seller posing as Jillian C. Wild and posing um, as as if they were, um, you know, a legit company through Amazon. I bought it from Amazon and it was a link that happened through her um, through her website, but it was a uh, um, it's not through her website. It was it was once I got to Amazon is where it happened. So it was on Amazon side, not Jillian side. So Jillian felt so bad for what happened and she's such a sweet sweet soul that she was like let me take care of this for you she was like please go back and take my name off that video because i did not do this it wasn't me and it turns out through the research that um amazon did jillian did and i did it was not jillian at all it was a seller posing as jillian so um so i was like absolutely i'll take it off and so i did and now she has sent me this package, which I'm now going to attempt to open. It's very, is there an easier way to do this? Nope, okay. So I just have to get through all of the tape. I didn't want to open it off camera because I wanted everyone to see just in case. <laughs> anything goes wrong I want it to be on camera I'm so paranoid now I'm like let's film it live oh this is boy she really packaged this wow that's a good thing though It's nice to know I'm not going to have a chore to do. Not buying a chore. I don't have to do returns, make phone calls, drive down to the uh, FedEx place, get codes, wait another six months, blah, blah, blah. I'm just excited to have something I can actually... Huh! Look at that! It's the box that looks like a book. Brand new. All wrapped up beautifully. Oh, Jillian... You are the sweetest. You know, and this is the thing. When something like this happens for a creator to reach out to one of their um, consumers to care enough about their customer to go to the extent that Jillian Sewell did 
And she really had to jump through a lot of hoops, uh, and I'm being honest, because it was quite the disastrous mess that happened um, because of this third seller and their screw, uh, uh, what do you call it, you know, fraudulent ways. So I feel bad for Jillian that they're, ta you know, taking away business from her. Um, so, uh, look at, look at this beautiful box. And it was unfair, too, because she didn't get a fair, um review because I didn't have anything good to review do you know what I mean so now I can do an actual review so this is the true revealing ta -ta, unveiling la la unboxing do -do 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 -do, of the antiquities of magic oracle so for any of you who are looking to order and to get this deck, I'm going to walk you through this like no one's business. I'm going to tell you exactly where to go, exactly how to get this so nobody goes through what I went through. And I'm telling you, it's mag It's just, yeah. So I rate things on, on, on a scale of 1 to 10 in four categories. The box, the book, the art, and the quality of the cards. So you can get 1 to 10 in four categories so total 40 points or like you know four stars or whatever i should do five categories and five stars because it sounds better but um so i start by um you know the whole overall and the the box so the first thing that i know about this is that i love a box i'm a box girl i know there's a lot of you who love the satchels the sacks the pouches and that's great and i love that you love that i don't because i have i got that going on and i've got that going on three little pigs and so um, it tends to collect on the felt, you know, of the back. So I love that you could put them on a bookshelf and it looks like a book. And when you want to grab your deck, you know exactly what this is. And it's just beautiful to have on a shelf, especially the way Jillian has done it. Or should I say Miss Wilde? Um, because she made it look like a book. So you can also lay it flat on a shelf. But it's just, I love that it actually looks like a book. That's magical. And the way that she has this where you even have the, the clasps here. I mean, the detail of this. This is what, you know, oh, I love it. And then you have this, um, oh, what is the shading? But it's a word. Um, oh, I'm so excited. My poor brain is exhausted. Um. You know, when the, you get the pictures that have this coloration on them, it'll come to me later, but you know what I'm talking about. It's just beautiful, and it kind of has that, you know, older feel to it. I love it. It just feels special, and I love that it says Volume 1, Traditional Tarot Symbols. Everything about this is just inviting and exciting and just beautiful it gives it a sense to me of importance like this makes it feel important and then especially looking at this and so again you can see if you want to lay it flat and that it's like volume oh my gosh i and look at like the brackets it's just extraordinary she did such a great job she just didn't she didn't um um fall short on the details that's you know and i love that you get a sample of what the cards are here as well so if you're looking at the package wrapped up in a shop then you know what you're getting some don't put the cards on the back so you don't know what you're getting inside and you know if you didn't do your research ahead of time you don't know what's inside this is brilliant the packaging is brilliant the details brilliant I love everything that she did. So, and look at, oh, it looks like book pages. The book pages. Ah, I just, I'm sorry. I'm excited about aesthetics because I'm just detail oriented, you know, and I just, I'm so loving this. Now, look, look how brilliant this box is. Okay. Just look how that, that opens.
it's brilliant. So we've got a spine here instead of doing like the pull. Oh, Jillian, thank you for listening and paying attention to your audience because she knows what tarot card readers love and want. Look at that. And then look on the inside here. Oh my gosh. Love this. Just in case you can't see this, I'll read it. When we create space from our fears and surrender, the universe shows us everything. Magic and miracles are yours to receive. Oh, gives me goosies. Gives me goosies. This is beautiful. I love, like, this, you know, having a nice message here. Having beautiful artwork here is great, too, but having a beautiful message, yes. And then here is the beautiful, glorious book. Oh, not damaged at all. It's perfect condition. Look at this book. So again, it's the same. So it's the book within a book. It, she didn't change anything. I love that. I love that she kept it the same. So it's the book within the book. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So in, um, in her book, instead of doing just one big picture of the cards, which you know I'm a fan of, and in color, because I'm a big color fan, um, so I do deduct when we don't do color. But instead of doing one big picture of the cards, instead of that, she has a smaller picture of the cards, but she has all of this information here. And in a space for you to write down your intuitive thoughts on your feelings of the card. Which, okay, that's, that's brilliant too. Do you know what I mean? So in a way, you're utilizing this book for more than just optical it now becomes a working, you know, kind of journal in a way. And I love that. I just wish it was in color, um, as I always do. And um, But I do love that it has this concept here. So if you're not going to do a full page of the card, this is a really good thing to do. So I'm going to give the same score on either one of those. Just deducting for color only. Love the book. Love the size of the book. Love that it's, you know, it's not just a little teeny little thing. This is brilliant. So I'm giving a 9 on the book. It would have been a 10 if it was in color. This box gets a solid 10. It's unique. It's artistic. It's it, it's everything that you want in, in, uh, in a box. So, um... I'm definitely going to give this um, a 10. Um, the only thing is, like I've mentioned before, having these little notches, it's almost impossible to get them out, but when you have the ribbon, they do pop out. So some people have been commenting to me, to me saying, hey, it's not really fair to take off because they don't have the large square pop-outs where you can reach in and grab if they have the pull ribbon. I said, you know what, that's that's a good point. If they didn't have a pull ribbon, I can understand deducting points for not having the larger square uh, rectangles cut out. So I agree. If they have the pull ribbon, we're, we're solid on that. Um, and I love the aesthetics on the inside. Okay, love that. So I'm definitely um, going with a 10 on the box for sure. And then she gave me um, this card, and she says, Thank you for supporting uh, this independently created and published deck. I am honored to be a part of your journey. Isn't that just an extra loving touch? I love that. Now, here's where I want you to go. Okay, make sure that this okay. Go to www. No one needs to know that, but I'm going to say it out loud. JillianCWild.com. That's where you need to go. Go to Jillian C. Wild's website and buy it directly from her. Pay the shipping. Don't go to Amazon. Don't go anywhere else. You're going to get messed up. That's how I got messed up. Don't do it. On the top of her screen it says, click here for Amazon buy. And it'll say, oh, you get the exact same thing for free shipping. Don't do it. That's where the scam came in. Somebody, like, hacked in and did something weird there. When you click on there, they've latched in somewhere between point A and point B. 
buy it directly from her, pay the shipping, and get this. Don't go through what I went through. And that'll save you the time and trouble. And then also, then what's great about it is then you can sign up for the newsletter. You can um, receive free supporting tools, downloading spreads, exclusive gifts, and more. Okay? She's an independently run female business. Um, and a five-star review help um, the continued success of the step. So please, um, or I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses on. Thank you for being a part of the magic, okay? Um, so I'm 100% honest at all times. I can't be bought, I can't be sold, I'm 100% honest. And I'm building my brand based on that. Nobody's ever gonna buy my thoughts or opinions because I'm a consumer and, um, and that's it, bottom line. So no matter what, if you send me a free deck or you pay me or whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm going to give you my true and honest opinion, okay? No matter what. That way, over time, people will learn to trust me. When I say, go get this, go buy this, they'll know I'm telling them the truth, whether I'm paid or not paid, okay? So that's important to me, important to my morals and the fiber of who I am as a person. And I love to support not just women, but anybody that's independently trying to create wonderful things and put them into the world. So that being said, now we can get into the cards. And um, if you're just looking to see what the cards look like, you've already spent all the way through all of my nonsense to just see what the cards look like. But that's okay. The backs of these cards are stunning. Stunning. I mean, oh, they're not glossy, so they don't um, reflect. They're perfect. Gorgeous. Look at this. Oh, it's edged. Oh, my gosh. I got an edge deck, and I'm so excited. The last thing I want to do is edge another deck. I had to do four decks yesterday, and with my arthritis, I'm done. So thank you, Jillian, for knowing your audience again and edging this deck. And black is brilliant because it's perfect. It just makes it so special and beautiful. It's art. It's art we get to play with, like I always say. So these are the backs. Now, here we go. Again, it's supposed to be not focused. And when you get this, you'll understand why. When you read this card, you'll understand why. So that's like a little secret. When you get this and you read this, you'll get what that is. And I love that. Love that. Now we're getting into the card. So number one, I'm going to tell you this. The art is phenomenal. The details, it's incredible. The cardstock is, you can't get better. They're matte. The cardstock, I mean, it's, it's a 10 out of a 10. I mean, if I could give her an 11, I'd give her an 11. Because the cardstock is magnificent. It's matte. They feel like silk. It, it's glorious. And the artwork, look at that. So here we go. Getting started. Angel. I'm going to zoom in so you can see these cards a lot better. There we go. Because you can't miss anything because they're just too beautiful to miss. I love this card. The Disney girl in me just you you always get me with a castle. Oops. They're such thick cards. I keep thinking I'm grabbing multiple cards, but it's because they're thick. And trust me, if you when you order these, you'll you'll I'm not lying. These cards are like you think you're grabbing two and three cards at a time. They're just so good. Often. 
And I love this because I actually have this tattooed on my back that looks like this kind of necklace going down my back. Love that. I mean, look at the detail on this feather. The elements are incredible. The colors. I mean, I want that. Oops, I just knocked that over. Look, like, hold on, I gotta pull this back. I mean, I want that tattooed right there, and just like that. That's gorgeous. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I love it so much. How beautiful is that? Jillian, I think I might have to get, <laughs> have to go back. I can't stop looking at it. Okay, Jillian, seriously, this has to... I'm getting this tattooed. That's it. I've made my decision. That has to be a tattoo in your honor. And thank you for sending me these cards because that is beautiful and glorious and I that yeah that has to happen and look at the globe with the pink I mean it's not like I'm obsessed with like pink or anything my pink going around I don't like color like black and white and gray and beige but I can do a tiny little bit of blue and then pink these are the only kind of colors that I can handle you know I'm not really into like when it comes to decor and stuff, I can't have greens and purples and reds and I don't know. I have a weird thing with, but that blue and pink gets me every time. This is the tattoo my daughter wanted a very similar tattoo on her leg. I said, please don't do an actual real heart. But this is what she wanted. She regrets not doing it. But uh, I'm sure she'll end up getting it. And there's my spirit animal, a horse. Mine's a white horse, but a horse nonetheless. This one gets me. Now, here's the thing. It's ice, I know, but it just looks cold. Do you know what I mean? It looks like it's cold. The details. Oh. And I am obsessed with skeleton keys. Obsessed. Like I have one do, 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 right here that my beautiful, gorgeous sister sent me. I am obsessed. I love. Look at the hearts. Oh. I love skeleton keys. Just love, love, love them. I haven't put it on my keychain yet. I mean, this just looks like it would glow in the dark. Look at the way that pops. Wow. Just, just, oh, beautiful. And I'm a Leo. So that card, look at the shadow. I mean, look at the shadow. <sighs> so good. I mean, it's just like you just want to like, hello, cute. Rock lobster. Stunning. Beautiful. The elements are just out of this world. Every time I see this, it reminds me of London Bridge in Lake Havasu. We spent every summer there. And every time I see this image, that's the first thing I think of. It's the color saturation, the details that get you.
I'm on a hunt right now to find um, an old-fashioned one of these. I want it for my desk. And also a sand timer. Um, I don't know. I'm just getting into this, like, whole vibe. I just want, like, these older things around. I mean, the shadow, it just looks like it's literally popping off the page. It's beautiful. Sepia tones. How long did that take me to download for my poor little brain? The sepia tones. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Oh my God. That's what happens when you get old people. This is how, you know, it's like having a really old computer. It took my brain that long to download that. And last but not least, look at that. Oh, is that? Again, look at the shadow. The detail. Be another, again, a beautiful. Any one of this would be beautiful as a tattoo, but um, oh, so pretty. So pretty. So, this is the Antiquities of Magic Oracle by Jillian C. Wild. Again, please go to her website to order your deck and support an independent tarot creator. And this deck is absolutely one that you need in your collection, 100%. 10 on, out of 10 on the box, 10 out of 10 on the cards, 10 out of 10 on the art, and a 9 out of 10 on the book. If it was in color, 10 out of 10. So we just missed that tiny little uh, snippet. And, um, and simply and only because Jillian C. Wild went above and beyond and out of her way to fix my problem that happened to me, um, I'm going to go ahead and give her that complete 10 out of 10 across the board. And here's why. When you take that extra step to really care about your customers, as customers, we should show our appreciation as well. And that, and that alone, my friends, is I'm giving her an extra point for going above and beyond to take care of this for me. So Jillian C. Wild, you get a perfect score of five stars, 10 out of 10, all day long. And I think anything that you do from here on out, I'm all in. You know she does the Naked Tarot um, as well. And um, so be sure and get that. That's next one on my list. So that should, um, hopefully, I'll be ordering that one next month. Um, thank you for watching. If you like and subscribe to my channel and comment below, I will do a free reading for you. It's a one-hour tarot reading. It's worth about a $275 value. Um, most tarot readers don't do one hour. They'll do a three-card read. It's like $40 to $60. I will do a lot of mine last longer than an hour. It's however long the tarot session needs to go to. You get the information that the universe wants you to have. So comment below, like, and subscribe. You get one free reading. And um, I will definitely be using this deck in that reading. Okay, let me know. Comment below. Bye.